Hey everyone, Andy Raphael from eTechnics.com and today we're going to talk about water cooling and custom loop and well the problem with it is that it's just too damn expensive but EK believe they have the answer to that problem with a classic RGB S360 kit. So let's take a look. Make your build stand out with the new Team Group Delta RGB memory. Available in black or white, capacity is up to 32 gig and speeds up to 3200 megahertz. With a multitude of lighting effects supported by all major motherboard brands, the Team Group Delta RGB is guaranteed to make your build look cooler than ever. Check the link in the description below to find out more. So EK, they are one of you know the best known brands when it comes to custom loop water cooling, whether it be hardline or soft tubing. And we've actually had a look at, I guess, some of their kits before, which generally is a massive box that comprises everything that you need to, I guess, you know, start a basic custom loop. Of course, you can kind of, you know, expand on that with GPU blocks and extra radiators, extra pumps and that kind of thing. But then we have the classic series. Now, the classic series and I guess the whole ethos behind it is trying to make water cooling affordable. So to start with, let's talk about price. This is the S360 RGB kit. Now with the, I guess, S360 it is the kind of higher end of the scale. If that makes sense, does that make sense? I think that makes sense. But being RGB obviously adds a price premium as well. Now, what we actually have is, I guess, everything that you'd expect from EK in terms of manufacturing and quality and things like that, but they've just taken a few bits and bobs out. So as we know, with EK and their kind of conventional stuff, uh, at least when it comes to RGB, we're looking at digital RGB. We're looking at, you know, uh, some of the highest quality materials known to man, which are, you know, on the expensive end of the scale. With this, while they are still using quality components, they are cutting a few corners, should we say, to try and bring the cost down a little bit. I'm probably not explaining this in the best way possible, but hopefully as you sort of watch on from this video, you'll see exactly what it's about. So let's sort of talk through, I guess, what you actually get included. Start with, we get a Y splitter for your fans. Because it is an S360 kit, that means it comes with three 120 mil fans. So one way of connecting it, split it into three, job done. We also have the mounting bracket for AMD. So there's your typical kind of AM4 mounting bracket. And we will go through, uh, I guess, you know, what other platforms and everything are applicable for this kit. We also have the EK RGB four-way splitter cable. So uh, again, this is kind of conventional RGB, not digital or addressable or iRGB or DRGB or ARGB. However you want to brand it, this is your bog standard RGB. So you can have red, you can have green, you can have blue, you can have any color under the rainbow, but a single solid color. Uh, we also have another splitter cable and it does actually come with all of the different four pin adapters as well whether you're going female male male female you know it's entirely up to you they kind of give you the flexibility as to making the system you know um, i guess a little bit more customizable for you we also get the starter liquid cooling kit uh, installation manual so this is going to talk you through everything and i guess the beauty of these kits is that for anyone who's wanting to get into custom loop it can be a little bit daunting at first by having a kit like this, it means you're not going to have compatibility issues. This kit has been, I guess, handpicked by EK to sort of say, these are the components that are going to go together. This is what we believe is going to be the best value for money. So when it comes to money, we are looking at £260 in the UK and about $290 in the US. I'm pretty sure that's including uh, taxes, but you are going to have to pay shipping on top of that. We also get an adapter, which is your pump testing adapter. So you can test your pump plugged into a SATA cable. Again, it's just simplifying, simplifying things just a little bit. They do give you enough soft tubing to kind of, you know, do, I guess, a conventional run. So if you are just using this kit, which is obviously uh, incorporating the CPU block, this should be enough tubing to go from your pump res uh, to the CPU block, to the radiator and back again. Obviously you could add a GPU block at a later date and that's something that we're gonna talk about in a little bit. And you probably may need just a little bit more tubing. It depends again on the size of your case. So we also have the X-Res 140 SPC PWM Classic RGB uh, Pump Reds. So if we open this up, we can give you an idea as to kind of, you know, what are the key components of this kit and exactly what comes included with that. So we do get uh, the cable uh, for obviously monitoring the, uh, the rate of the pump. We get all of the various kind of mounting screws, Allen keys and, uh, and whatnot. And then we actually get the pump itself, which looks like a conventional EK pump. It doesn't look like they've over-engineered it. It doesn't look like it's cheap on the same side either. It just kind of seems like it does what it's meant to do. So we have uh, obviously a nice looking pump, which can unscrew. 
and then this part can unscrew as well so you can clean it out you can do everything that you need to do on it and put it back together and being rgb it means that you know if you were to put clear fluid in here it should look really really nice on the bottom of the pump we do have two cables we have one for the rgb element of it and the other for a pwm connector it does have four standoffs so depending on the case that you're going to be using uh, this should actually mount into i guess a conventional uh, pump space or pump bracket in terms of your inputs and outputs, this is where kind of the classic series makes it a little bit simpler and cuts down on costs. You simply have one input and one output, and then obviously a fill port on the top. If this was, I guess, one of their other ranges, so uh, part of the um, kind of, you know, more expensive ranges, then you would have extra inputs, extra outputs on one side or even on the bottom, or there'd be something else on there. By having sort of just the single input and output, it does reduce the cost quite dramatically, actually, because it doesn't mean that they need to I guess engineer extra parts to it, design extra parts for it, and that is all gonna cost money. We also have a 24 pin ATX power connector, so you can jump start the pump without actually starting the whole system. We get all of the various fittings that you're gonna need to make a simple loop. So again, if you wanted to expand and uh, maybe go for a GPU block, you'd have to buy the GPU block, the back plate, and then you'd have to buy extra fittings, admittedly only two. You'd only have to buy uh, extra fittings out for the GPU block. But for now, we get everything that we need, I guess, for the CPU element of it. We also get the uh, fluid as well, so the EK Cryo fuel. Uh, now they do actually do different kind of different colored fluids, but with this whole kit, it is an RGB kit. So for me personally, if you're gonna have red fluid, blue fluid, green fluid, any color fluid, it's just not going to react in the same way as what you'd expect with clear fluid and just letting the RGB, I guess, do the talking. Now, for anyone watching this video who's never done custom loop before, you're probably thinking this bottle is a little bit small for, you know, actually making a whole loop. Well, the beauty of this is, is concentrate. So what you have to do is mix this with 900 milliliter of distilled water, which you can buy pretty much from anywhere. So in the UK, Tesco, B&Q, uh, you know, any major supermarket. In the US, it's going to be the likes of Home Depot or somewhere like that. You're going to be able to find distilled water. Now, in terms of obviously the fans, it is a 360 mil kit. So we have got the EK Varda uh, Evo RGB. These are actually some of the best performing fans you can buy on the market, purely because they are extremely silent when they need to be, but they do actually push through quite a lot of air pressure. Uh, with thanks really to the PWM. So it does actually come with three of them. Uh, and as I say, they are fully controllable RGB through kind of your motherboard software. Now, other parts to the actual system that we have. So we have the EK Uni Holdy Spider. Holdy Spider? Holder Spider. I've got to admit that is probably the weirdest product name I've ever heard in all my life. But <laughs> essentially what we have here is a bracket for mounting the, uh, the pump res combo. So again, if you're, uh, if your particular case doesn't actually have the mounting holes for a pump, it, pretty much you're going to end up using this. And this is actually going to mount to one of the fans or the radiator bracket. So if you wanted, you could say, for instance, your radiator sitting at the bottom with the fans on it. You could mount that on there, screw through, and that would just sit there like that. Nice and easy. Again, nothing's really kind of being overcomplicated here. Now, one of the key important parts to uh, any system like this is going to be the block itself. So it comes with the EK Supremacy Classic RGB CPU block. So you get everything that you'd expect. You get thermal paste or thermal compound. You also get all of the various different fixtures and fittings depending on the platform you're gonna be using. And that also includes the plates. Now, this is actually all explained in the installation manual. If you're using AMD or Intel, whether you're going 1150X or whether you're going HEDT, will depend on which plate you'd actually use to give the best uh, possible flow rate into the CPU block. You also get the uh, CPU backplate. So this is uh, compatible with Intel and AMD. And then you get the CPU block itself. So if we open this up, and I've got to admit, this is actually my first time kind of using the classic series. I'm, I'm normally using kind of their conventional stuff, but this is the block itself. So nothing really to it apart from a single RGB connector. Other than that, you can unscrew it to obviously replace with the different plates. But again, really simple. It has an input, it has an output, everything's easily labeled and it looks pretty damn nice. And then the last thing that we really have to look at is the radiator. So we have the EK Coolstream Classic SE 360mm. So this is a slim radiator, meaning that it should fit in your case, no matter what case you have, as long as obviously it accepts a 360mm rad. If you have a smaller case, then they do have a 240mm version of this kit. But this is a radiator. Again, it looks like it's decent quality. It has an EK stamping logo on there. It has an input and an output. There's not really too much to say about it, apart from it just looks simple and it should do the job that we're expecting it to do. 
So now that I've made a massive mess, we basically have everything here, but what good is it sort of having a look at everything and not really seeing exactly what it's all about? Well, to do that, we're gonna need a case. So we've got the new Antec P120 crystal, which conveniently does accept a 360 mil rad and should be perfect to showcase this kit. So let's get it built up and then uh, we can have a look at exactly how it looks. So there we have it. Uh, this is basically the build that we came up with. So we actually wanted to do something with the new Antec P120 crystal chassis, which does actually look very, very nice. We did ask on social media as well, which color scheme we should go for. And I don't know why, but everyone decided that hot pink was the one to go for. So here's hot pink. Uh, as you can see, we kind of did the whole build based around that. So even the memory is pink. The motherboard has got some pink accents on it. And you can see that the GPU block actually looks really, really nice situated in the vertical mount as well. Because it is part of the Classic series, that does mean that, yes, it does have RGB, it's not addressable. Uh, so we just decided to go with, you know, the single color throughout the whole thing instead of having the memory a certain color and so forth. Uh, I did have to, I guess, use some extra fittings because I did add the GPU into the mix. If we didn't have the GPU, uh, you know, cooled as well, then it would have just been everything inside this box, making it a truly affordable solution for those wanting to sort of dip their toes, excuse the pun, into the sort of water world or custom loop world. Now, the funny thing about this is even though we did add the custom GPU block in there, uh, we actually had enough tubing on this kind of setup to, uh, to incorporate that in there without actually going out and getting in any extra tubing. So again, if anything, EK have kind of given you, I guess, a little bit too much. Um, so extra value for money, I guess. So there you go, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this kind of video, just talking through, I guess, the classic series, what it's all about and kind of what you're actually able to come up with, uh, you know, in a pretty, I don't know, quick time frame. So yeah, if you are looking at sort of, you know, delving into the custom loop kind of realm, then maybe this is the way forward. It's gonna be affordable, it's gonna be quick, it's gonna be easy, everything you need in one box. So if you are after a kind of affordable solution that is quick and easy, I honestly believe that EK have you covered with their classic series and you could always add upon it if you didn't want sort of certain things or you wanted to add extra bits at a later date like a GPU block like we did. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know exactly what to do and I'll see you in the next one. See you later guys. Bye bye. We all know it can be very, very expensive. So EK believe they have something to make it more affordable. How affordable? Just more affordable. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> EK, one of the forefront runners, I guess, when it comes to uh, forefront runners. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know exactly what to do, and I will see you in the next one. Why did it turn off? So there you go. Well, I say there you go quite a lot, don't I? So you could mount this to the bottom of your case if it has the facility to kind of have um, the ability to... Ability. Lots of ability.